Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having an awesome day today. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I cut down and hemmed a trench coat. This is a coat that I found at the thrift store and it was way too long for me. So I shortened it by about a foot. So I'm gonna be showing you that process. And this is a great technique if you are a petite girl and you need to shorten things but don't want to pay a tailor, or if you're like me and just found something that you liked but was really long and you wanted to cut down, this is how I shortened a jacket or coat. So let's jump right in. So here's what my coat looked like to begin with. You can see that there's a lining but also a small unlined panel and we'll deal with that a little bit later that's probably the most complicated part of this process but to start out you'll want to determine how long you'd like your coat to be in the end and use that measurement to determine how much to cut off so I ended up cutting off about 13 inches and I marked this measuring up from the bottom so that I could easily follow the curve of the hem of the jacket marking all the way around the hem to create a cutting guide. I just made little dashes with a pencil and I was able to follow that pretty easily, but you could make a entire line if you need to. Now that the measurement is marked, cut through the coat all along the line. So now that we've cut all of that off, we'll deal with the unlined panel at the back of the jacket. This panel is sandwiched in between the coat outer layer and the lining, so we'll want to rip out a few stitches to give us room to turn the panel under for a hem. I gave myself enough room to turn it under about half an inch twice. So I went ahead and turned up the hem, then you can pin it in place and sew it down with a straight stitch. done that you can see the hem is looking nice and neat and now we'll want to replace the stitching that we just tore out a few minutes ago so place the panel back between the outer layer and the lining and sew each side down with a straight stitch I did two rows of stitching just to make sure that I caught all the layers So once each side is sewn down, you'll notice that the back panel and pleats are laying nice and flat and it will be really easy to turn our hem under. My jacket did have some top stitching on the front outer edges, so I removed just enough to be able to turn in a half an inch hem. So all that's left to do now is actually hem the jacket, and because of the design of this coat, I hemmed one half at a time, starting by turning under the little seam that we put in by the unlined panel to make sure that everything stayed secure. I then turned under the outer layer a half of an inch all the way across, and after I turned the outer layer, I turned the lining under slightly more than a half of an inch and pinned the two together. what the outer side looked like and here's the lining. You can see that it stays to the inside of the jacket because I turned it under slightly more. So you can sew your hem on the sewing machine but I opted to stitch it down by hand to keep it invisible. I grabbed a little bit of the outer fabric with my needle and then a little bit of the lining sewing back and forth between the two to create an invisible finish. Then all that was left to do was repeat that process on the other side of the coat and give it a press and now it is ready to wear. While I'm slowly heading back to my apartment I'm not asking for your thoughts I'm just thinking I... Yeah, that's all there is 
to it guys that is how I shortened this jacket I hope you found this tutorial helpful if you had something that needed to be shortened a jacket is a little bit more complicated but as you can see it's not too bad at all so let me know if you try this out and how it works for you and I hope you got something out of this video if you're not already subscribed I would love for you to subscribe by pushing the red button down below and that would help me out a lot I would really appreciate it but thank you guys for spending your time here today and watching and I will talk to you in my next video bye Someone